have it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Sam. Sam is my boyfriend and I thought that today because Valentine's Day is coming up we would answer a few questions about being in a creative relationship and being a couple of creative people. So um, I'm gonna ask you some questions mm. and we can both answer but yeah it's just about how we work and stuff. Yeah. I'll give a little bit of background about Sam and I. So we have been together for nearly six years now and we are both creative people so I am a designer and that's what I do and Sam does a lot of other creative things. He's a photographer and a videographer and an illustrator and a musician. The first question is what is your favourite thing about being in a relationship with a designer or a creative person? So you can answer this. Your, your favourite thing about being in a relationship with me as a creative person. This is the best my favorite thing but it's also kind of the worst thing <laughs> is that I can uh, I, I, I have someone who I could just talk to and look at my you know the amount of times I've gone to Holly while she's in the living room doing work and go hey what do you think of this and just yeah yeah how do you find that thing an illustrator <laughs> yeah oh yeah like illustrator and Photoshop Photoshop's the worst because yeah I've been trained in doing any of it I've just kind of learned all the pretty much yeah, pretty much by myself, and so with my help. yeah, and yeah. So with Holly actually you know, studying it and everything, there's a lot of times where I'm like, why doesn't this thing move in Photoshop? <laughs> and but yeah, then on the flip side, sometimes it's it's just another kind of argument, sort of like <laughs> yeah. I think this looks fine. Like I wouldn't do it that way, but nah, it's, it's like having someone to kind of like critique your work and kind of give you advice that will kind of is a bit more invested in you than random. Yeah, <laughs> I guess my favorite thing is that Sam understands being creative. So when I'm like feeling grumpy because my work hasn't turned out very well or when I'm frustrated with Photoshop or like any kind of creative process problem, Sam kind of understands, so mm. it's like, not like you're like, what? What is wrong with you? You're like, oh yeah, I know that that's The magic words, oh yeah, that sucks. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much, it's just good to have somebody who knows, can kind of empathize with what yeah. I'm going through. The next question is, what is your least favorite oh, yeah. thing about being in a relationship with a creative person? Yeah, it's, it's just that, yeah, it's sort of like another thing we can, you know, couples fight, that's, yeah. that just happens. And so it's sort of almost like another thing. And you kind of have to be careful because it's like you want to critique each other's work honestly, but then also because we love each other, we don't want to hurt each other's feelings. Yeah. So it's like, oh, that's like, I'm generally when, because Sam's design or illustrator stuff is usually like for punk bands and stuff like that, which is not what I do, yeah. so it's quite, I am often like, oh, that's definitely not how I would have done it, but it's really cool. Yeah, um, like that's what so I was going to say. It's generally the way we... Yeah, because we, we do quite sort of different styles, like, mm. uh, yeah, Holly's is a lot more... Like clean? Like clean, refined. modern, and like, a little, yeah. a little more contemporary sort of, you know, yeah. and I'm like... Yours is very like, not like thrown together, that's the wrong word, but like, Kind of like punky and I think like hours trying to make it look messy. Yeah, yeah, messy and stuff, yeah. which is cool. But I'm like, it's not my thing. But so we have to be careful that we're not like. Ugh. Yeah, like there's definitely <laughs> a lot of times where I'm just like, oh man, that looks really boring because I've seen something on Pinterest, you know, like. Yeah, yeah. But that's or that you've just seen me do it. I've just yeah, I've, I've watched you cry and yell at a screen at this picture for an hour. Yeah. And then when you kind of, what do you think? I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I have a, another least favourite thing. When I was at uni and I was just like having a hard time or if you're like really struggling with a design then we can kind of tell and it gets like we both get a little bit like it's so annoying. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's we're just like working on like always we're always trying to work out how to be better with each other. So it's kind of one of those things that we learn to deal with, like when the yeah. other one's going through the creative process, it's like, how do we 
and also just busy, being busy. Like yeah. I have two band practices a week and going on tour and all mm. that and then like it sucked when I was at uni because then it was like, like two weeks we just didn't really see each other yeah. before, and you know when I'm <laughs> free she's schedule. not free and it's like it, that, yeah. that is you I guess I don't know if we're going to talk about that but we are trying to allocate more time where it's just like we're, we're gonna not work on anything and just hang out for each other yeah because it is a lot better now that I'm not studying but even still there's like I have videos to edit or blog posts to write or church stuff to do or yeah. like I run my own business now so there's stuff for that to do so we're always trying to yeah balance that with having a relationship at the same mm. time hopefully that'll be easier when we move into our new house and we have we will have like separate offices and we can kind of physically separate work and hang times yeah um, so that'll be good next question is name the piece of work or talk about the piece of work that you think is the best or the coolest that your mind has done you didn't give me any preparation I know for this. Like, <laughs> I literally have just sat down yeah so I don't know just think of something cool that I've mm. done that you like um I really like those 20 second posters no no not 20 seconds uh, 20 minute posters Oh, the Harry Potter one I did. Yeah, I really mm. like that one. Um, yeah. yeah, that was a collab. You can watch that. I'll put a little. <laughs> uh, again, like since I don't, I haven't really been trained. But yeah, it takes me. It will take me. You know, I'm still working on something that, that for a couple of weeks, and because I don't really not great at drawing and stuff like that. But when I see you doing like a poster and like half an hour, I'm like. Oh, okay. <laughs> Right, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, yeah. but it's, it is really cool. Um, I mean, yeah, you just do heaps. Your photography always really impresses me. You should, I'll link to Sam's photography, probably the Instagram, but um, just talk it up. And, yeah, yeah, no, no, honestly, <laughs> because um, your photography is really great and it always really impresses me. And we, Sam has a big print of one of his photos on the wall, which is very cool. Um, and in terms of design, I really like, you just did the album cover for your split EP yep. with another band, both of the bands which Sam is in. Um, and it just, again, it was one of those things that I never would have done or mm. thought of doing that way. Um, and I'll pop it here somewhere so you can see. <laughs> um, your face, yeah. yeah. Um, but it just turned out really cool and like we were looking at it yesterday on Bandcamp, band, yeah, band band and like just the graphics looked really cool in the background, and I was very impressed. So, um, yeah, I thought that was awesome. Sweet. Yeah, well done. Okay, so Louise asked, What do you guys get creatively competitive on, whether it's skills or speed, etc.? Uh, I thought about, I saw this and I thought it was a hard one because again, we, like we, we've got very different styles. Yeah, we're not really very competitive in terms of creative stuff anyway yeah like i think because we do such different stuff but i guess it's more we more so get like yeah on a high horse and a bit more um know it all i guess uh, about uh kind of speciality yeah so yeah. um like if i'm taking photos you'll be a bit like why are you doing it that way or yeah like, why don't you use this lens or something like that? And I'll be like, because I just don't know, I just take it and it looks cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or um, when you're showing me how to do something on like Illustrator and you just go, it's just this, 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 and you know, you click like five things yeah. and go, like, stop, oh. how, how did you do that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But. Like, and I guess sometimes, because we work on some stuff together, like especially with church stuff, where mm -hmm. I'm technically Sam's boss. Um, and there'll be some things in terms of just like general ideas that sometimes yeah. we'll get a bit, we won't not necessarily fight about, but just get a bit like competing ideas against each other sometimes. Yeah, I mean it's a problem for me because I once I get an idea, I kind of just yeah, and you're very stubborn as well. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but we're not necessarily competitive. We're always supportive of each other. Yeah, but yeah, it's just hard because again we just do different things. Mm. Board games though, extremely oh, yeah. when it We're comes to board not games. Not in a relationship at all. <laughs> yeah. Worst person to play board games with. Or the best, depending on how you look at it. And the last question is, what's one piece of advice you'd give for people in relationship with creatives? 
Yeah, I guess it's just be that person's biggest fan, really. Like, it's easy to kind of um, just kind of give advice and kind of shut down, you know? Just kind of like, yeah, like, why are you doing it this way, blah, 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 and oh, that it doesn't work with this and you should have done it this way but it's kind of also stepping back and going remember like oh yeah i'm apparently in love with this person as well so you know i've got to it's it's just supporting them and kind of letting them go through and you kind of going with them mm. and you know having putting that, i guess putting the relationship first really like, I mean, there's a lot of times when you've gone, what do you think of this? And I've told you like half an hour's worth of stuff and you've just gone, no, nah, I don't agree. <laughs> so it's like, oh, okay, fine, fine. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> I guess, or like, yeah, I would agree about kind of being each other's biggest fan because like, I value a lot what Sam thinks of my work because obviously he's my best friend and I want my best friend to be proud of what I'm doing. Um, and the fact, like if Sam says, hey, that's really cool, I'm really proud of what you've done or like, you know, when I finished my degree and you were like, oh, I'm really proud of you, like, that's really awesome and I think it's good to kind of try and do that as much as you can um, and just support each other and also just, like, be patient with each other and, like, the creative process is, like, messy and can be yeah. kind of frustrating and, like, there's good times and there's bad times, there's, like, you know, especially, like, I've got a lot of dreams to, like, run my own business and that's, like, a big thing you know there's like mm. financial problems with that there's stressful problems with that but there's also like cool things yeah, about like, it so it's just kind of going with each other through yeah the good and the bad of the creative process and just and yeah being honest like like you said you know like tell them you know yeah creative people aren't don't always have the highest self-esteem especially <laughs> about their work yeah so i think yeah, like when you say, hey, that looks really cool, it, it, I'm like, oh, wow, Holly, you know, I'm like, Holly's a designer and thinks it's really cool. And like with being honest, also being honest about if you are like having a crap time with the creative process or you yeah. are struggling with something, like, especially if you're both creative or even if you're not, like, it's cool just to be like, hey, this is, I'm struggling with this, I'm real stark or like, yeah. can you just help me brainstorm this thing or... And your relationship can't just be about you being creative like you know yeah like if we're both like for me like if i'm having and if i'm kind of getting frustrated at a design or a song or anything like it's good to step away and kind of like i, I play video games holly watches really terrible tv shows mm -hmm. um but it's good to kind of like both step away from that kind of design aspect and just like go we're just people yeah just people are like you know yeah just doing normal things like you don't have to take your camera every date you go on and you don't have to check the texts and be on your computer all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Also, we've given way to way more than one piece of advice each. But yeah, also like Sam mentioned before, um, like we're trying to make a conscious effort to like plan time to spend time together mm. that's not creative, like just going or not like work related. Do you have anything else to say? No. Shout out to Starving Millions. <laughs> Shout out to Sam yeah. Sand. <laughs> Links in the description oh, and yeah, all that. Okay, and, yeah. No, I have to put them in there. I don't know. Um, um, yeah, if you're into punk. Yeah, if you're into like a bunch of grown men yelling at you for about a minute a song, then <laughs> my band's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, if you're not, just... Listen to it anyway. <laughs> Put it on mute on Spotify and just play it through the night. Yes, yeah, we'll, so they get some dollars. We'll get a dollar for that, for that or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, we're going to finish there. Um, I hope that this chat was, I don't know, insightful or helpful or just funny to watch. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, more Sam. More Sam. Yeah, pretty much. Let me know if you want more Sam. Yeah, let me know. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you did comment below um, any tips and tricks you have about being in a creative relationship or let us know what you're doing for Valentine's Day um, and I will see you next week with another video bye